These are the trainers of the 60s. They're expensive to maintain and fuel inefficient, yet they fly every day. The U.S. Navy VTXTS requirement calls for a new training system that includes a trainer aircraft that can replace both the T-2C and the TA-4J, one aircraft that can safely challenge and hone the skills of tomorrow's carrier jet pilots. In the fall of 1980, Lockheed introduced the twin-engined Alpha Jet to the U.S. government and Navy. A hands-on demonstration evaluation tour took the plane from Andrews Air Force Base near Washington, D.C., to five air stations in the heart of the Naval Air Training Command. A stop was also made at the Air Force Training Command headquarters. The objective of the tour was to demonstrate that the Lockheed Alpha Jet is ready today to meet the full range of VTXTS aircraft requirements. The Intermediate Advanced Jet Trainer was designed and built by Dassault Breguet of France and Dornier of Germany. The demonstration model, the 58th aircraft off the German production line, flew from Europe to the United States. Development and testing of the Alpha Jet is complete. Over 500 aircraft have been ordered by eight countries. Lockheed was selected by Dassault Dornier from among five competing American companies to represent and build this top European design in the United States. The plane is presently in use in France, Belgium, and other countries to train pilots to fly high-performance Mirage and F-16 fighters. In West Germany, it's being used as a light attack strike aircraft. The Lockheed Alpha Jet will be manufactured under license in the United States using American labor. Lockheed has conducted extensive design analyses to define the structural requirements to make the Alpha Jet suitable for carrier operations. Analyses based upon Lockheed's recognized experience with the S3A Viking, one of the safest carrier aircraft in the Navy today. Modifications will include precise reinforcement of the fuselage structure, installation of a fuel dump system, a completely new landing gear, and a carrier arresting hook. Pre-flight inspections on the Alpha Jet are simple and fast. The aircraft requires no special ground equipment for servicing. All compartments are accessible from ground level. Single point access allows for hot refueling and quick turnarounds. The Larzac 04 fan jet engine was developed by Snecma Turbomeca of France and will be made under license in the United States by Teledyne CAE. During the tour, it was demonstrated that an engine can be changed in less than an hour using only simple tools. The engine features a modular design made up of eight interchangeable modules. This means maintenance is easier, faster, and less costly. The projected inspection interval will be 1,200 hours at VTXTS fleet introduction. The engine was specifically designed for a jet training environment, an environment requiring high G maneuvers, rapid roll rates, and numerous rapid throttle variations. By the mid-1980s, the Larzac 04 will have accumulated over two million hours of rigorous operational flying time in Europe. During the U.S. demonstration tour, the Alpha Jet was made available to the widest cross-section of flight instructors and military pilots possible. The flight profile was tailored to meet the greatest interest of the individual. By flying the aircraft themselves in an actual training environment, the pilots would gain the first-hand knowledge necessary to accurately evaluate the plane's ability to meet the full range of VTXTS requirements. time between flights averaged less than 15 minutes. The aircraft was designed for minimum support and operations in an austere environment anywhere in the world. 
Its battery-powered self-start capability eliminates the need for special ground support equipment. The Alpha Jet is able to take off in less than 2,000 feet and can climb to over 40,000 feet. Sea level rate of climb exceeds 9,000 feet per minute. Maximum speed is over 540 knots. The smokeless engines have a low noise and heat footprint and are fuel efficient as shown by actual rather than predicted data. In side-by-side -side flights with the T2C and TA4J, the aircraft consumed half the fuel of the T2C and less than 40% of the fuel used by the TA4J. During air combat maneuvering, the Alpha Jet took easy advantage of its high lift-to-drag ratio, excellent sustained G capability, and minimum turn radius to outmaneuver and outfight the opposition. Even at heavy gross weights with gear and flaps down and outside air temperatures exceeding 100 degrees, the aircraft demonstrated remarkable single engine climb rates of more than 1,000 feet per minute, climb rates that are particularly significant for safe carrier operations. The Alpha Jet employs the heads up display, or HUD, which presents attitude, altitude, and airspeed information to the pilot, enabling him to quickly, easily, and safely reach the correct firing position. The aircraft has demonstrated in Europe that it is a stable weapons platform in both air-to-air -air and air-to-ground environments. Armed with wing-mounted bombs and rockets and a belly-mounted cannon, the plane can satisfy both training and actual light attack mission requirements. The Alpha Jet has also proven itself to be an exceptional spin trainer. The plane can be put into any of four different spin modes. Oscillatory, calm, flat, or inverted, yet is highly resistant to inadvertent spins. To induce a spin, pro-spin controls must be deliberately applied and held. Spin recovery is affected by using conventional techniques or simply by releasing the controls. The pilot's field of view from both cockpits is exceptional. The meat ball and runway center line can be seen from the instructor's station in the rear cockpit all the way to touchdown. Stick force and pitch responses allow accurate airspeed and glide slope control during simulated carrier landings. Thrust response is rapid and precise. During the three-week demonstration tour, the Alpha Jet was flown day in and day out by a total of 67 guest pilots, ranging from Navy, Marine, and Air Force combat veterans to government officials and recent training command graduates. The pilots were requested to make a detailed written evaluation of the aircraft's capabilities. The results of the evaluation were not entirely unexpected. The collective response was enthusiastic approval of the Alpha Jet for the Navy's flight training requirements. Comments of praise by the best evaluators in the world, namely the flight instructors themselves, ranged from mention of seat comfort to the aircraft's low fuel consumption. The following quotes were noted. Superb handling qualities, excellent roll rates, turning capability, and takeoff performance a blend of stability and responsiveness, shows outstanding potential as a carrier trainer. The plane exhibits all the qualities necessary to develop highly proficient combat pilots.
90 flights were made in 19 days using a single aircraft. Only four components were replaced in that time. Lockheed has laid the groundwork for a complete U.S. Navy VTXTS training system. A system that includes simulators, academics, training management, and the Alpha Jet. The aircraft has demonstrated that it is indeed fuel efficient, reliable, serviceable, and maintainable. In short, it will meet the VTXTS air vehicle requirement on all counts. Tomorrow's trainer is here today.